Welcome back to our veal uh, barley variety trials. Uh, as you can see, the crops are really moving on, as, as always. I'll talk about the weather first and foremost. Since the last time we were here, we've had 16 mils of rain. It's not really an awful lot for this part of the world, but it's been enough to do a bit of good. Other parts within our trading area, some areas had last Monday night, had about 40 to 50 mils. So it's been very localised rainfall and all crops have been very benefit, you know, very grateful to see it. As you can see here, you know, digging the soils, there's moisture down at root level, but it is, soils are very dry still. So, you know, some more rain would be very, very welcome into these. So enough about the weather anyway, so talk about it all the time. Stood between here, on this side, I've got a crop of Golden Promise. On this side, I've got Planet. Now you can see on the Golden Promise here, our awns are starting to peep out there. Just shows that just that slightly earlier variety. Um, and I would expect next time we'll come back, we'll have the ears fully out on this, but it's looking way okay. Uh, quite clean down the bottom of that. The Planet over here, um, got, yeah, there's a little bit of Rhynchosporium kicking around in the bottom of here. Um, We've, we've been sort of it has had a fungicide and it's dried it up there but on the on the other hand we've just got to you can see there it's dried it up nicely and protected the new growth but as the owns start to come out on these we will give them a final head spray which is just to protect against the any future uh, wet weather diseases brinkosporium and net blotch and all of us and also as well the key one that we're looking to protect at that time is ramillaria so I think, you know, without talking about the weather again, we will go into an unsettled period of sort of wet, dry. Crops have been a bit stressed with the moisture as well, I think it's fair to say. You can see just across them there, there's just a little bit of sort of, you know, stress symptoms showing. There's a little bit of yellowing on the leaves as well there. Put that down to a wee bit, I think there's a little bit of sort of BYDV kicking around, but just on the odd isolated plants. So, on the whole, happy with the crops as they are, would welcome some more rainfall and as we move into the sort of the the big sort of yield yield enhancing uh, grain fill period so next time we'll come down we'll see the ears fully out on these and we'll get a better idea again about the differences in the maturities and what the grain set's been like in them